Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading and today some light relief after the reading I did yesterday on Muhammad al-Fayed and I am going to be looking at patronages, Meghan's patronages in this reading, Harry's in the reading that follows. I am using a very simplistic deck for this reading, Mystic Mondays. Uh, it's a bit of a shiny uh, box and it's a bit of a shiny deck, so hopefully you can see what's going on there. Mystic Mondays tarot deck is one I've had for a while, I haven't really used on this channel, uh, but for some reason it put its hand up when I was going through the boxes uh, and uh, it said time to use me, so I'm going to be using this deck for these two readings on royal and not so royal patronages because in Megan's case allegedly and a loud, a loud um, drum roll for the word allegedly here uh, allegedly she approached the US Open tennis crowd and volunteered herself as a patron of the US Open and um, I'm getting the giggles now as I say this and offered to uh, make a speech at the tennis, to hand out prizes, to do a voice a documentary on the US Open and was rebuffed. Uh, apparently there are no individual patrons of uh, that tennis tournament. There are big corporate sponsors but certainly no individuals, not even if they were Duchess, Duchess Meghan. So uh, we know, of course, that Catherine is, uh, has a very uh, important role with Wimbledon and does hand out prizes, does get to sit in the royal box and uh, it was the um, official role, the patronage, was handed to her very recently. It's very prestigious. She loves tennis. She's mad about tennis. Uh, Megan, of course, has turned up at the tennis, been hoofed out of uh, the posh seats uh, before she married a prince. And then when she got to marry a prince, she hoofed the peasants out of the posh seats. Uh, that infamous scene of her sitting looking a bit worse for wear with her friends propping her up and the empty stands around her. And then, of course, she showed up at Serena Williams' match at the US Open uh, in despite being told, don't arrive, you're bad luck, you'll jinx me. And Serena promptly lost. It's very cross, very upset. Megan, of course, uh, seemed to be making um, eyes at Serena's husband, allegedly uh, had suspiciously sort of grazed knees and there was lots of comment and speculation about where those knees had been before she showed up. She left her newborn child behind in the UK, baby Archie, who she allegedly was still breastfeeding and off she went for the weekend to party in New York. Uh, all very suspicious. But anyway, let's have a look at five card reading. I've rambled enough. Uh, Mystic Mondays, Tarot, what can I tell us about Megan attempting to become the patron saint of the US Open? And uh, um, I did qu a quick Google on the Royal UK website to see if she's still listed as patron of anything in the UK, and she is horrifyingly. Um, she is down as the patron of the Royal National Theatre still, which really shocked and horrified me. Uh, she's done absolutely nothing for them, except use them for a photo opportunity with her rings off when she was um, giving ultimatums, allegedly to Prince Harry. Um, divorce or we leave the UK, it's an exit. So uh, National Theatre, wow, what did they do to deserve Meghan? Anyway, the uh, underlying energy of this reading is the Eight of Cups and I, sorry these are very shiny cards and um, so we're going to get a bit of glare on them from the light. Eight of Cups in the reverse, that is not able to leave a sorrowful situation, stuck in a sorrowful situation, um, that's the no, she got the no word, she really thought that she could uh, make this happen, and they said no, and she's very upset about it, very disappointed. And uh, all that effort to leave the UK and go and start a royal family of her own in the US um, to come to nothing. Yet again, I wonder if she'll ever learn. So the heart of the matter, that was the underlying energy of all the cards. The heart of the matter, matter is the Ten of Wands. Um, let's put it upright so you can see it. That is, of course, the exhausted 
heavily burdened, overburdened card. It's in the reverse, um, given up. Uh, the burdens have been put down. Um, you could almost get a bit of a tennis net there uh, with that card, interestingly. Um, but the burden's been put down. She tried, she tried, and she tried, and she tried, and she eventually had to give up and let go of this idea of um, some form of patronage in the US. Not going to happen. And uh, very disappointing. She really wore herself to the bone trying to make this happen because it's wands, it's always emails and things like that. And I think that Hotmail account was probably burning away with letters, um, emails from alleged uh, PR people, managers, agents, whatever of Meghan Markle saying, you know, we can do this tremendous deal and uh, really raise your profile. Can you imagine trying to <laughs> sell that line <laughs> to one of the most prestigious sporting events of the global calendar but anyway she tried she failed clearly from the eight of cups and the t in reverse and the ten of swords in reverse she tried and she failed but let's ask officially because this is the card for did she try um the seven of pentacles yes it's the seven of pentacles in reverse that is not getting a return on your investment a misplaced investment ill-advised uh, you bet your you bet your house on something and you lose it. Um, there it is. You can see in the upright she's watering that tree and it's bearing fruit. In the reverse, no fruit. Uh, wrong tree. Gave it the wrong care. Killed it off. Nothing. Nothing flourished. Nothing grew. So we've got three cards now that are telling us she really did invest some time and effort in this, and it all came to nothing. How did the people at the U.S. Open feel? when they got this email on Hotmail from uh, a deranged duchess offering to raise their profile and be their patron, how did they feel? Nine of Pentacles is the independence card. Thank you, but no, we're fine without you. <laughs> Very simply, that is what the Nine of Pentacles most says, is somebody who is fine on their own. They're doing wonderfully well. They've already got all those Nine Pentacles. They don't need Megan and her upside down tree there that she has planted all wrong and not nurtured and not it hasn't flourished so uh, they are brilliant that's the peacock in this nine of pentacles resplendent uh got everything glorious uh, a fabulous bird don't need megan not with her grazed knees and that dreadful denim dress she was wearing and disrupting the tennis by making doe eyes at players' husbands while they are on court, uh, allegedly. Let's throw that in there. And uh, so hidden energy here, is this all about Catherine? And Catherine, of course, being um, the patron of Wimbledon, nine of swords oh yes it is because this is torment this is mental torment this is anguish this is sleepless nights the nine of swords this is uh, how did it all go so wrong i'm so stressed i'm so worried i can't sleep i'm filled with these tormented thoughts i'm filled with resentment i'm filled with um desire to oust her and better her and uh, show her up it's in the reverse so she was trying her best to overcome this feeling of resentment. Um, and of course, she was towed along behind Catherine twice to Wimbledon, the first time in an ill-advised outfit uh, with hymns dragging on the f muddy, muddy floor and that dreadful smelly hat that she carries around with her. Uh, a lot of people say it's her yachting hat that Panama hat that she wears and you're not allowed to wear a hat so uh, she was forced to, to carry it and it was all very humiliating. Catherine of course in a simple sundress looked lovely and then she was hauled along again and this time with Pippa and she was sandwiched between the Middleton sisters who both looked lovely who were having a marvellous time talking, laughing, talking to all the and players around them, the people around them, the important uh, big cheeses at Wimbledon. Megan looked very uncomfortable, very ill at ease, scuttled away as fast as she could afterwards. Uh, and allegedly she even uh, made the great faux pas of offering to get tickets for Catherine from Serena, not realizing that Catherine, in fact, you know, could get all the tickets in the world. 
from Wimbledon and it's almost embarrassing. I'm going to get embarrassed giggles if I think about that too much. But yes, embarrassment. She was embarrassed, she was humiliated with that nine of swords in reverse. Really, it's something that keeps her up at night thinking, oh my word, um, the horror of the moment. Um, anyway, outcome. What was the outcome? I think we've seen the outcome already in these cards, but yes, terrible, devastating blow to her Ten of Cups in reverse. Um, it didn't go her way. She's not in there, um, in the inner circle with all of the important people. Um, she's not needed. She's not wanted. They made it very clear to her, not welcome, go away. And she shuffled away, slunk away in a terrible sorrow, as we see from the Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, the sorrow hasn't left her yet. This is still something that's painful for her. She really thought that she was going to get this dream and going to be hailed and everybody would see her and she could go and she could walk the, um, I think it's a green carpet. I'm not sure what color carpet it is at the US Open, but it's not a red carpet at Wimbledon, is it? I don't think it is. It's been a long time since I've actually watched the um, handing out the prizes at the end, the cups and the whatevers. Um, but no, uh, very mortifying, very humiliating, very upsetting. And uh, so it does look like that it, there is truth to this allegation, to this rumour, um, that it all went south, didn't work out. And she's very, very upset and very humiliated, but still the patron of the Royal National Theatre in the UK. A lot of good she's doing them, but uh, hopefully that will be changed soon. That's the reading. I'll see you in the next one.